with the lack of rainfall recently, you've probably had a hard time keeping your lawn green. But imagine if it was your job to keep a major league baseball field green into the fall. The meteorologist Jeff Jameson has the scoop on how it's done in this morning's Weather 101 and Science Stuff. And he hits his ball out to center field. Going back on it, Hicks, he'll look up, and that one's gone! It's not the main show during a Texas Rangers game, but it is the stage. The grass on the field, always green, always manicured, and it takes a knowledgeable grounds crew for it to happen. We're surrounded by concrete and steel, so down in the field it gets really warm. So, you know, just keeping your moisture up, your moisture level consistent uh, is, a, is a challenge. Dennis Klein is the head of the Rangers grounds crew and says the field is actually a blend of two different grasses, rye that thrives in the cooler season and Bermuda that grows well in the summer. Sometimes it's not heat, but storms that challenge Klein. Ah, oh, that's it's stressful because you know you you want to you want to save the game. When rain threatens, Klein is in constant communication with the umpires so they can know when to call a possible delay. Well, at first glance, this field looks maybe like your yard. The big difference is underneath this grass, there's sand, pea gravel, and a drainage system that can take six to ten inches of rainwater away per hour. The more water I get, the the firmer actually the sand gets, and uh, the field stays relatively playable after after big rainstorms. That's why people can't you know, believe they think it's native soil, but it's it's actually just sand. When North Texas weather throws a curve, the grounds crew plays a good defense. But Klein doesn't bring his work home with him. My own yard is 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 not great. Um, I don't know if chefs go home and like to cook. Uh, when I go home, I really don't want to mess with my yard. So 